Hi guys, it's Tammy and I have Ethan today. We are going to put him in his little cutest catch outfit. It's a white onesie and in blue it says cutest catch and there's the ocean and the whale and his little pants that match. They're blue and they have little whale toes. And I actually thought we'd put the little booties on over the top. I'm not sure, I think these are sharks, but they'll go, so that's okay. He's got his little blue bear with him today. Before we go and do that, um, I have a little Kate Quinn haul. They're still on sale and I'm talking, you know, like $3, $5, so. This is the Roseberry Vine Classic Pocket Panda Pants in zero to three. It is very, very rainy today in Ohio. Here's the little pants. They've got pockets on each side. And these are so soft. I really like these. And you know me and my booties. I think these were three dollars. Sometimes they're six dollars. But still. These are the little booties that match. And then I've got three to six. This is the Panda Pocket Pants. I love those pants. And the Blue Hounds Tooth. And I've got the Blue Hounds Tooth booties already, so I didn't get them. I just got a pair of pants. And these are so cute. They have the pockets too. They're just like the other ones. And then this is zero to three green field. And it's also the panda pants. I'm gonna have a lot of Kate Quinn panda pants. And of course, the two little pockets, just like the other ones. And last, of course, are the green field booties. And these are zero to three. So that's what came in the Kate Quinn yesterday. Yeah, it's really raining this morning before I got up. We were having thunder boomers too, but you know, it was one of those really nice storms where, yes, we had thunder, but it wasn't a bad storm. It was just a kind of a calming, lazy storm. I, I love those kind of storms. Just lay and listen. And So, the week of the fair is over with here. I always dread it because when we moved here three years ago, we're not too far from the fairgrounds, but we're far enough I never dreamed we would get bandstand noise, and we do. Last year, we got lucky because they have modified tractor pulls, and those things are noisy. I think really people hear them all over town. It's just, it's a pain and a nuisance, but unfortunately, this is a farming community, so a lot of people like the tractor pulls. But last year it got rained out, and oh man, I was so thankful because the year before, it was so noisy at our house, and we're probably I don't know, three miles from the fairgrounds. We couldn't even hear our TV. It was horrible. So I really dreaded it again this year, but you know what? It just wasn't bad. We just did not hear the noise that bad last night. I heard a little bit, and by 10 o'clock, it was quieted down and didn't hear anything. So last year and this year, we got lucky, I'll tell you. Jeff's kiddos are back from uh, Hawaii, and his son is all depressed because 
they're back now and it was so relaxing and he loved it over there and when I left I told Jeff I said well either they save up and go back or they can sell their house get a smaller house and move over there because he was really 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 bummed being back in Ohio which I guess I can't blame him too much <laughs> Ohio's not the coolest state but there's just not a whole lot going on guys I apologize I am going to do our devotion here in a minute and I'm doing laundry should run the sweeper but it's Sunday and I'm not going to I laughed and Jeff told me he said it'll be there tomorrow it's not that dirty and he's right we take our shoes off and with COVID, we don't have anybody in. It's just the two of us. We have no pets. The dolls don't make a mess. So, you know, it, it's... What gets me is the footprints. I just don't deal well with footprints. This little outfit actually did come with a little jacket. But I'm not going to put it on him. I'm just going to have him in the little pants. And I don't know. I don't know if I want to put the booties on him or not. These are cute just the way they are. We'll try it and see what we think. I don't know. That is cute. Guys, booties or no booties? Hold on a minute. Turn his legs. Booties, no booties. I'm going to go with booties. They're just cute. Cute, cute, cute. There you go, little guy. Where's your brush? His hair is so nice. I love his hair. He doesn't mess up bad at all. Okay, you guys see him? Okay, well, do our devotion and call it a day with YouTube. I've got a lot of you guys I need to go over and watch your videos, so. Yesterday afternoon I got into it and I did, what did I do, seven or eight of my CEU courses. So I'm getting a big start on those because in June I have to do my first aid again and I get two credit hours for that. And I've got a video I have to watch and I'll get an hour for that, so. I'm doing pretty good with that. Okay guys. July 16th, self-pity is a slimy, bottomless pit. Once you fall in, you tend to go deeper and deeper into the mire. Wait a minute, didn't I just do this one yesterday? Is today the 17th, guys? I think today's the 17th. We're gonna go with the 17th, okay? Come away with me for a while. The world with its nonstop demands can be put on hold. Most people put me on hold, rationalizing that someday they will find time to focus on me. But the longer people push me into the background of their lives, the harder it is for them to find me. You live among people who glorify busyness. They have made time a tyrant that controls their lives. Even those who knew me as a savior tend to march the tempo of the world. They have bought into illusion that more is always better. More meetings, more programs, more activity. I have called you to follow me on a celerity path, making time alone with me your highest priority and deepest joy. It is a pathway largely unappreciated and often despised. However, you have chosen the better thing, which will never be taken away from you. Moreover, as you walk close to me, I can bless others through you. The chapters for this are Song of Songs 2, 13, and Luke 10, 41, and 42. And I think I had that book right up in his face. I apologize. I'm sorry I wasn't paying any attention. So, guys, 
I wish you all a very quiet, restful Sunday. And me and the babies will be back and see you another day. Bye, guys.